Welcome everyone. Hope you're doing good. I got this box in today and it's Federal Express. I have an idea what it's what it is and I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> so let's uh let's open it up. These are some thinlets from Civics and their Tim Holtz. Uh, that's what I thought it was. Oh boy. <laughs> they wrapped it up real good. Right here and right here. Tape doesn't want to turn loose. This has the sidekick on it, and it tells you that it is your cutting pads. So you have two cutting pads, and this is the embossing pad for this sidekick. A little embossing folder, directions for the sidekick. I'll leave it right here, and you can take a screenshot of it. And the back side, it gives you some ideas about how um, what to do with some of your die with the die cuts that comes with this. And saying that, you do not receive these. This is all that comes with this machine. There's your instructions, this little embossing folder, cutting pads, embossing pad die cuts, stamps. Oh, that's good. You get stamps. And the sidekick. So, take, put that to the side. That's just telling you about your sidekick. And I got it on the glass mat. Yeah, it's going to move my table. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> it suctions down. This right here is a handle, and when you push it like that on a flat surface, you have to have a flat surface. You will not move that. Okay. I have some paper already to be cut out. I keep papers in a folder like this and um, pieces. It just makes it handy. So I have some here, and we'll just get busy. I use it in my stamp positioners, but it's the Civic Sticky Grid. I'm going to put this on as straight as I can get it. Pull it off. And all this is going to do is just keep my die cuts from moving around. And you really wouldn't have to have it for this one, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to have the cutting going up. Everybody's different. They like to do it a different way. This is the way I do it. I think I want to cut it that way. And you use this one, and I use the beveled edge, and I'm going to put it on there like this. And all you do is you put it in the sidekick, and you turn it. And I'm going to have to hold it because it's actually moving the glass. <laughs> All right, that was easy. And you're going to have an imprint of your die cut into the glass. So I keep one that's always cut on, and then the other one. Let's see, the paper comes off of there pretty easy. And I didn't show it to you either. That's what it looks like. A little sidekick. And here's, here's your tag. And you can emboss it. And that looks like it's in the middle. This is in your embossing pad. And you can just use the one that you cut into it for the embossing. 
you put it in. And see, that's another thing. People don't understand how these are turned. If you push it in, Tim always says, if you push it in, it, the handle shows you which way to go. So, And it looks like it don't do anything, but it does. Look how it embossed that. Isn't that cool? That is so neat, and it's easy. It doesn't take a long time. So, let's see how that works open up uh, this one. This is an embossing folder. And these are little die cuts. I need to cut it. It needs to be the same size as your plate. There you go. It has a snowman. All these are up, okay? That there. And I'm just going to cut that about right there. it in. You go hear it crack. That's normal. And this little thing is strong because it's moving my whole glass mount. to do these. This is his little tiny, tiny, tiny scarf and then his hat. All right. All right, it's nice and clean, cutting side up, your paper, your cutting mat, There we go. That's done. You can use the one that you cut on and your embossing mat. All right, you have your plate, your cutting plate, your embossing folder, and your embossing pad. And you think it's not doing anything, but look at that. That is so cute. I love those snowflakes. Remove this. Put it over there. I think I want to cut this word out, so I'm going to put it right here and use red. I don't need a lot. cutting pad. Put the sidekick back. Put 
Look at that. Noel. I love the way die cuts cut things because it not only cuts them, but it kind of embosses them at the same time. There we go. Nice and clean. I always clean them. I never put them up without them being clean. All right. Move the sidekick. You always keep these to put them back. And that way it keeps the sticky grid clean for next time. I think I want the, we're going to do the snowman. It's brown. All right. Give him the pink scarf. Always use art glitter glue. There we go. Here's his hat, two color on it. What that does is it gives it dimension. I'm going to make it kind of go this way a little bit. There we go. Now, <laughs> he's cute. I like him. Let's do something with these snowflakes. And I have an idea. And this is just printer paper. And we're just going to scoot over that to make it look snowy. That's cool. Yep. And don't press down. Just barely take it to the top and go over it like that. And you're done. Alrighty, he needs a snowbank. I just got this one. I'm not going to do a review on that right now. But let's see if we can't make a snowbank. That looks pretty cool like that. And if you don't like the roughness, you can smooth it out. And if you don't have something like I'm using, just use your um, scissors and cut you a snowbank. I like it right there. So what I'll do is I'll just use glue. You don't have to be fancy with it or anything. It's just paper. If you don't like it, Redo it. Alrighty. It's not real thick. And what I would do is glue it about right there. See which one is the best side. Okay, and back here what we can do is put to and from on it. And we can give him a little bit of a snow. Now we have grit snow <laughs> on a tag. It's grit paste, snowfall, another item from Tim Holtz. That's one completed. I'll do 
do this, put this on the base. Make sure you have it turned the right way. Here's his beard. There. Here's his mustache. Right. I don't know if I can get him without getting that stuff all over me, but we'll try. And what I'm going to do is just put some glue in here. And I think my best bit, when they hadn't dried yet, wait till he dries. Now, I'm back. I wanted to let this dry real well. And I also cleaned off my working area. <laughs> so let's uh, glue on the little word die. And it won't take much, just a little, a little goes a long ways. All righty. I think I want to have him go in like that. Here they are, completed. What are my thoughts on the sidekick? If you like word dice and you like to do small cards like this, tags and emboss small items, it's great. But if you're wanting to do a lot of die cutting this is only two and a half inches wide. In other words, nothing any wider will not fit this. So think about that. For just a little bit more money, you could get something like Spellbinders. And I'm not, I love the machine <laughs> because I wanted it for word dies. And, uh, but when I'm doing stuff like this. I usually design it and uh, use stamps or something like that, but that's me. Everybody's different. You have to say, well, what would I use it for? See what what you want. Well, this video is it's a little long, but uh, it takes time to show what um, a device like this will do. And this is the Tim Hope Sidekick from Civics, and uh, it's really cute. I am thrilled to have it. I, like I said, I wanted it for my word dies because it'll do large word dies. Die cutting machines like my Cricut and my brother Scan and Cut, I love them. The only thing is, is they do not emboss. So if you want to emboss something, you need to have a machine. So take that in account. And, uh, you know, this is the time of the year to get something like this if it's what you, what you would use and want. Well, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. God bless each of you. 
Please take care. Until next time, keep crafting. Bye for now.